Hi friends, this video is gonna be a journal with me, but I'm also gonna answer some questions that I got on Instagram. I don't think you guys need to know this, but I'm actually pre-recording this audio, and that's how I figured I can make longer videos. Because sometimes, or not, because when I film a journal with me or any video, I tend to cut down on very boring stuff, like just me cutting or pasting down an image. So sometimes a 10 minute video can quickly become a 2 minute video. So I figured if I pre-record the audio, I can adjust the video length uh, accordingly to the audio, if that makes sense. Anyways, that is just my idea on how I can stop posting short videos and start posting longer videos. That's because I can tend to ramble as you figured <laughs> out by now. But yeah, I'm going to answer some questions that I got on instagram so thank you to my friends who sent in questions so let's just start off uh, okay the first question is how did you start journaling so i started journaling like properly i guess in 2017 or before that because before that i only kept notebooks where i wrote down lists um like poems song text anything that i liked but it was just like in a list form um i didn't decorate i didn't use stickers washi tape etc it was just a notebook i will see if i can find it because it is at home at my parents house so you can see that it's just a list form but actually i guess quote unquote art journaling or like the aesthetic journaling that i am used to now i didn't do it until i was in the travels notebook back then in the passport travels notebook and if you've seen my older videos you will see how ugly they were well actually i digress because um i have some very old journals that i got from tiger they are the square ones i think i've done a um, journal flip through of those so I'll leave a link so you can see uh, so I guess that was my first like venture into journaling because I just pasted on anything that I found and I wrote about my day but they are very very ugly <laughs> but you know we all start somewhere we all no one can just start journaling and it will be perfect you know but yeah I didn't journal in the travels notebook until 2017 I don't think so then i think this is a good segue into the next question which is do you think you'll ever stop journaling i don't think i will ever stop journaling like full on stop but i think i won't journal as much as i do now i will still you know have journal supplies and journals but i feel like even though lately i don't journal as much as i used to used to because back then uh, I used to finish a traveler's notebook insert in a month because I kept journaling and journaling all day every day but now I, <laughs> I feel like I journal like once a week because I don't e either I don't have time or I just don't feel motivated and I don't want to force myself to journal because I feel like if I do then I will stop completely because then journaling won't be fun anymore and back then i used to think that oh i had to journal so that i could take a photo and then post on instagram and that's you know i guess that's just how social media works you kind of feel pressure to do something but now i'm like mm, just journal whenever you feel like and even if it will take you two years to finish an insert at least i still enjoy it next question is how do you store old inserts I think I posted about this on Instagram, but I have a crate, I think that's what it's called, like a box, and that I got from Logit House, where I keep all my inserts, and I have, no, I put them in like order of how, <laughs> of when I finish them, and it's not like the perfect um, storage, but it's what works for me, and I also keep blank inserts. Uh, in the box just so that i have them available whenever i finish an insert so these next questions kind of go together 
Uh, so it's some things you enjoy writing about and what do you do when you want to create but have nothing to write. So I write about editing. Um, song text, poems, lyrics. I guess that is the same as song text. Tumblr post, whatever I feel like it. Um, I have a Google Doc where I write um, whenever I find something I want to write. Eventually, I will write it in the Google document. It is like 15 pages. Uh, I have song text. I have poems. I also really like taking quizzes on UQuiz. And if I like the results, I will write it in my journal. So, for example, one of the quizzes is what type of yearning are you? And then the answer is yearning to be understood. And then there's just like the text with the explanation a Tumblr post that I find funny. So basically anything. If you guys want the like, if you guys want me to share it, I can do that. But just anything I find funny, and like it is Tumblr post, Twitter, Pinterest, anything really. Uh, and then the question: When I want to create, but I have nothing to write, I just go through the document, and I just pick out whatever fits with whatever post that I made or whatever like what I feel like with the page that I made if that makes sense next question do you feel pressure to have to write about quote-unquote serious things not really because it's my journal sometimes I do write about serious things but it's basically just like how I feel my mental health and all of that it's not something I would share but I guess it's a perk to have very small handwriting because even though if I do write serious stuff and then post that spread on Instagram, no one can read it because I write super tiny. Next question is, do you carry your journal with you or leave them home? If so, which one go everywhere? I have, how many journals do I have? I have like two journals, journal journals, I guess or three <laughs> i have the regular passport wait no i have the uh regular camel which is my go-to journal that is the one that if i want a journal outside i bring and then i have the passport which i don't use that much anymore so that stays home and then i have my black regular size which is my media um, journal which i write book reviews movie reviews and all that and that stays home so i guess to answer the question the journal that goes everywhere with me or almost everywhere with me is my regular camel size journal which i guess is an answer to the next question which is if you had to keep only one journal cover which one would it be i love my passport limited edition but my regular camel is my true love it is my first journal cover that i spend my own money on and it just has a lot of history a lot of love and it is the journal that i spent most time in so if i you know the meme that's like uh, from family guy the stewie wake up we gotta go chris come on we gotta go meg can you drag the trash to the curb tomorrow before nine we won't be here you know <laughs> if i had to say one journal from a fire knock on wood that it will never happen it will be my camel regular size hi editing ty here i have totally forgotten about my brown passport cover which was actually the first cover that i got and uh, it was a gift and i don't use it as much anymore i think it, i just forgot about it because i was gonna look uh, at my very first video and it was a flip through or like a setup of my passport for some reason i've been thinking that my camel was the very first journal that i got like journal cover but i was wrong it is the um brown passport next question is what inspires you to create those beautiful layouts your pictures give me so much joy <laughs> thank you fernanda anything inspires me is that cliche but my friends that i follow on instagram pinterest 
Anyone who journals inspires me, but I think it's important to know that you shouldn't copy someone's journal spread. It's perfectly fine to find inspiration, but like blatantly copy someone's uh, journal spread. No bueno. I actually got accused of uh, copying Alice's uh, journal spreads, but my girl, she got my back and she was like, she's done copying. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> the next question is fave stationery supply if you could only choose one oh i don't know because i feel like i use everything like what hmm. like maybe stickers because there's so many different sticker types now you can find you know paper bits stickers washi stickers mm. i think i will have to say stickers because there's very like versatile then the next question is favorite online stores for stationery so it really depends on the stationery you want to buy but um i have three in mind or four technically if you count aliexpress but there is um tudos lush dive and pen store i live in norway so those are just the stores that i buy from um, I would also check Etsy, but that can quickly become very expensive. <laughs> Favorite pen loops? I'm trying to. I'm thinking about buying some, so I only use the Loistorm 1917 pen loops, um, different colors, and they're great because they're adhesive, so you can just stick them on your journal. I stick them directly onto my journal because I don't really care that much, but I've seen Job and many other people stick them on the like a plastic uh, like a piece of plastic hard plastic so that it's not directly on your leather and uh, so that is something you can do but i just like them because there's a lot of colors and they recently they recently came out with the pen loop extra large which fits a fountain pen so i think that is great so the large term anointing sipsin pen loops is my favorite so Carla asks, it looks like you have a pretty fun life. Do you go on day trips often? <laughs> Thank you for thinking I have a fun life. I really don't. Um, it's just that whenever I do go on adventures, I post a lot about them. <laughs> but honestly, every day it's just work and then I go home. But I'm lucky to have friends who do ask me to hang out. Um, so that's how I guess how adventures comes in but day trips i do like going on day trips just uh, go out by myself but now that it's pretty cold outside i don't do that as often but when the spring comes when it's warmer i will definitely go on more um, day trips and the last question is any tips for starting a journaling youtube channel honestly my only tip is just go for it <laughs> I remember when I first started mine, I think it was back in 2017 when I first got my insert and whew, looking back at those videos, they are rough because I didn't have a tripod, I didn't know what I was doing. I used one of BTS's memories um, as a tripod so you could always see something red on the side and then I moved to a vase. It wasn't until like two years ago before I actually started getting, or before I actually got a tripod oh my god it was rough but just go with it do whatever you want to do i would say plan out videos if you're like oh this is a good video idea write it down because there's so many times where i'm like oh i should make a video about this and then i forget so when you have an idea just write it down um i guess tips um if i could go back and change my videos it would just be like have captions on them because honestly having captions on video helps me a lot to understand the video and like understand what's going on but sometimes when i watch videos there's no caption i'm like i cannot pay attention but that is just me yeah and then just you know have fun don't make a video just to post a video i know that some people's like oh you should have like a what's the word like a um posting schedule you should post like every week but 
yeah i guess that's how you get like engagement and more followers or subscribers but with my with my channel i don't know if you can i don't know if you've seen but on the header is like new videos whenever i'm done editing them because i just i just want to have fun posting videos and i feel honestly i i, I want to brag about myself now because i feel like this year i have been posting regularly because <laughs> last year i posted like every other second month but now i feel like i i post a little more frequently than i used to i hope that will continue but there's a lot that's going on with my life right now and oh, thinking about it i feel like crying but that is just me <laughs> um, i will make an updated video soon about that there's nothing bad it's just that um i might have to move home to my parents which was not in my 2023 bingo card but here we are but i will try and make the best out of it and we'll see what will what will come with that maybe if, when i move back home i will actually be able to post more videos or film more videos but yeah um not to ramble on anymore but that is all the questions that i have and thank you to my friends uh followers uh who posted nope who asked questions on instagram if there are any questions that you have that i didn't answer feel free to leave them down below and i will answer as quickly as possible and thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you for listening to me ramble <laughs> but i hope you guys have a good day good evening good night wherever you are and i'll talk to you soon bye